So, now that we have our diagram, let's tease it out a little bit. The first thing I was just alluding to was what is mod z? What is that actual distance, right? Well, let's just pull out our, um, our Pythagoras, because we don't have to do Pythagoras. The absolute value of z, right? Well, let's just write the Pythagoras statement, shall we? That squared equals, what's it equal to? R squared. So, so here is here is the first side, r squared <laughs> cos squared theta. So I've squared it. Yeah? No. Plus? R squared, r squared. R squared, sin squared theta. Okay. Now when you look at this, you're like, ooh, hold on a second. I can um, I can take out a, a cos squared sine squared theta because that's equal to one, right? You're like, oh that's really cool. And then all you get is our r squared over here. Oh wait. That that just means that the mod z, mod, modulus z squared is the modulus z squared. That's not a very useful way of stating these. Now this is true, okay? But in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, even though this is true, I'm actually going to go back to my original notation, right? Because that will give me something a little more meaningful, and it means I can convert from one form, this form, to the other, okay? So really, this is x squared, and this is y squared. Do you agree with that? Okay, so I'm going to go back to writing it in that form x squared plus y squared, because I will tend to know what these values are. That is mod z squared. So if I just want mod z, then it's the square root of the squares of those two numbers. Okay. Wait, why did you... Oh, no, mind. So, so what was the point of doing that, right? This is true if I'm completely in mod arg form, okay? But it's, there's no meaning to it. It's a redundant statement. But this, this statement here allows me to convert, right? So conversion is useful. It will allow me to get from here over to there or vice versa if I need to, okay? And of course, I'm only taking the positive square root because um, the modulus, by definition, well, it can be zero, I suppose, if I'm writing the origin, but um, I don't want it to be negative, okay? So I'm excluding that, that value. Okay, now, secondly, now I can fit this on here. Um, we've got the argument here, right? But the astute among you will notice, if you're thinking back to the unit circle, right? That in fact, the argument of an angle, if I say, sorry, not argument of an angle. The argument of a complex number, right? If I say, okay, here's a complex number. Tell me, what angle do I need to trace out to get to that complex number, to get in, facing in the right direction, okay? Um, that idea is, in fact, kind of slipped past you. It sounds like a function, but it's not really. Because what's the definition of a function? What is a function? A function is a, a connection between two values, like for instance, an angle and a point, right? A, a two-dimensional representation, right? Such that if you put one input, you'll get exactly one output, right? You know what's coming in, there's only one possible answer, okay? But there is not only one possible answer for the angle that will get me up to here. Okay, for instance, on this diagram, it looks like, oh, I don't know, maybe it's like a bad isosceles triangle. Maybe it's like 45 degrees, which in radians would be 45 degrees. Pi That'd be pi on 4. Okay, so pi on 4 would get me up to here. Okay, so I'll just, you know, I'll do it in, there you go, pi on 4. Right? But pi on 4 is not the only angle that will get me there, right? If I wanted to, I could go up pi on 4, and then I could go a further 2 pi around. That would be a whole new angle. It would be 9 pi on 4, right? Now, you're like, well, why would I do that? It's like, well, you know, actually sometimes you'll see later on, sometimes you do want to go further, or sometimes you're defined, I want to have angles that are reflex angles or whatever, like that. So 9 pi on 4 is also the argument of z. Do, do you see that? It's another direction that I can face in that will still, be get, still get me to that complex number. Okay? So therefore, the argument that, as I've stated it, just whatever angle gets me there is not a function. It's a relation. Okay? So what we do is we define, and this tends to be written, tends to be written, um, with a capital A. We define the principal argument. As in the main one, right? It tends to be written with a capital A, capital A. Uh, and what this means is, I don't just want any argument that will get me there, okay? I want a particular argument. I want it to be restricted between, this is a bit interesting, from 
Negative pi. Oh, now I've got to get my boundary the right way. No, I don't want negative pi. I want. I want to include positive pi. Excuse me. Okay, now we're used to thinking of things in terms of like 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi, uh, that's 0 to 360. For reasons that will become clear as we go a bit for, for further, we're going to go from negative pi to pi, and it's inclusive of the positive value. So if, for instance, I picked a point which is pi radians as a direction, where would that be? Think about it, because I'm remembering, I'm measuring from the positive real axis. Right? So pi radians would be... 180 degrees, which would be a point here. Okay. Now keep in mind, that's not the only point that has an argument of pi radians, right? Can you give me another one? How about, like, say, here, or here, or here, or here? Everything on the negative real axis has an argument of pi radians. Okay. For consistency, we say positive pi rather than negative pi, which would get me there. But we want it to be a function. We want to have only one value come out, right? Which argument do you mean? So, so we define it there. So watch out. That is a really, really subtle difference. But so we need to that's like what it is. put that restriction when we do yes. any. Yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, now, for what it's worth, usually that restriction is not someone you have to introduce. It's one that's stated for you because, like, we want a principal argument. Which argument do you want? I want that one. Okay. So that that's kind of this restriction is baked into this language. And they will usually be asking, posing that question to you, rather than asking you to define it. Okay. 